He's notched up six number one singles, eight number one albums, and a record-breaking 10 Brit Awards. And now after a three-year break, Robbie Williams is back with a brand new album, Reality Killed the Video Star. On Four Music Favourites today, he'll be talking music. I was never out of the studio, I never stopped writing. Girls. All women scare me. Love. She's a wonderful, wonderful person and I'm very lucky to have her. Living in LA. I don't have a fanny pack or a bum bag. And the double T's. Take that. Ever since I left Take That, I wanted to be in a band. So I might as well be in Take That. Plus, he'll be performing brand new tracks from his album and an all-time Robbie classic. Mr. Robbie Williams, welcome. Great to see you. Uh, Thanks, you've been man. out of the public gaze for uh, a while. Now you're back. Everyone is silly with excitement about the new album, Reality Killed the Video Star. Why so long? We missed you. Well, I didn't think I was going to be a pop star again after the last tour. And I went into rehab and I just thought, well, there seems to be a, a pattern emerging. Um, promo starts, fit and healthy. Mm. End of promo, a little bit tubby. Uh, start of tour, nerves. End of tour, rehab. And I thought, well, I've just got to break that cycle. Yeah. And then I got immensely bored. I was expecting something to come up and go, right, this is your proper job. It's very humanitarian. And somehow you'll help to save the world and you'll do really well. And uh, fortunately, unfortunately, that didn't find me sat on my sofa. So, uh, you know, the, the songwriting's a hobby, and I kept writing all of these tunes. At some point, you go, well, if I've masked all of these songs, I'm really pleased with them. Um, I better go and sing them at people. You should do something with this. Yeah. yeah. Well, what about the, the pressure? Everybody's talking about the comeback. Will the album deliver? I mean, do, do, you, do you enjoy the pressure, or is it something that freaks you out? Um, well... <clears throat> You know, I think it's a script that people have got written for me. Because you two hadn't had an album out in five years. Mm. Shakira hasn't had an album out in three years. George Michael puts an album out every eight or nine years. And, you know, it's like the script that's written for me is, this is the big comeback. Mm. And um, I don't see it being written about anybody else, but I'm quite happy. Is that in a way flattering, though? I mean, maybe I don't you know. missed I... so badly, even when you weren't there, you were there. Do you know what well, I, mean? you, I put out so many albums, eight, seven or eight in eight or nine years, mm. that I think that once you put the brakes on a little bit, people go, what are you doing? Where have you gone? Reality Killed the Video Star is the album. Did it? Wh why have you called it that? Well, I... The first relationship that I was in when I was 16 was with a, a beautiful girl. And... Uh, we tried to rekindle the relationship when we were just in our 30s. And that it never was, works. Well, you know, we were, we, I think we both had this, we've been all the way around the world and there it was all the time. And it just didn't <laughs> work out, which was uh, a terrible shame. Mm. Very sad. And um, I wrote a song about it called Reality Killed the Video Star. Uh -huh, you cool. know, because uh, my world's moved in this way and her mo world's moved this way and yeah. blah, blah, blah. And I uh, lost the song, and I don't know where it went. But I still had the song title in my head. Started to work with Trevor Horn. Boom. Who is, from, you know, did Buggles, Buggles yeah. Video Killed the Radio Star. And we were looking for uh, an album title. We thought that would be it. Seemed to work. Makes perfect sense. How are you feeling about playing the new songs live? I heard recently you don't like playing live anymore. I kind of had a, 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 a weird time on tour. I uh, sort of developed huge stage fright. And, um, you know, the confidence that I've exuded in the past has always been, you know, this, this paper thin. You know, it's like, this happens here, I get off stage and I'm like, whoa. And um, the sort of the gap between the confidence and the nerves disappeared and it was just nerves. I and it, it's, it's just extraordinary. I'm sure people watching will find that extraordinary. The man who, I mean, you, you've set a, a record performing to 375,000 people in three days at Nebworth. I mean, your on stage presence is second to none. And it seems now that the thought of performing live to you is almost harrowing. Nebworth is absolutely fantastic and, you know, a feather in my cap that I did it and mm. I'm so proud that I did. But um, 
sometimes it's a completely unnatural situation looking it's at that bonkers. many people. Doesn't make any sense. I well, mean, no, it doesn't. If you look at it too hard, which I did, and um, is is that what brought about this? Now you say it was a paper thin, the confidence and the. Well, uh, it's always it's always been kind of like playing Russian roulette. Some nights I get up on stage, and uh, you know I, I think I'm I'm everybody for everything. Mm. And then other nights, uh, you know, I just don't. What's the difference between those nights, though? Is, there's nothing, I don't know. Nothing about the really, really don't right. know. Uh, Morning Sun. Um, it's the first track you're going to be playing live for us today. Uh, it actually kicks off the entire album. How would you describe it? Morning Sun's a Beatlesque tune. It was a song that came fully formed. Richard mm. and Scott up in Stoke. And um, I needed to change a few of the lyrics just to make me understand it and, mm. you know, to give it uh, a point of view from where I'm coming from. And I couldn't think of anything to write because their lyrics were, were brilliant, you know, they were good enough. Yeah. And um, then Michael Jackson passed away mm. and I thought, oh, I've got something to write about now. Um, the first time I've done it, but I enlisted the help of legendary lyricist uh, Don Black. We changed some bits and bobs together and uh, what was left is Morning Sun.